Hi guys, in the following tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get the mock to return value without using stubbing. So let's suppose that we have shipment service uh, that requires some order service uh, passed by constructor and uh, the shipment service class uh, contains deliver method that takes uh, order ID and first we uh, retrieve uh, delivery method from uh, from our order service and depends on delivery method for example in this case if it's uh, if it's car if it's car uh, we set uh, uh, delivery status on on the order to deliver by car or uh, unsupported delivery method uh, in other case so uh, now we would like to test the behavior uh, of uh, of our shipment service so uh, I've prepared uh, some simple test. Delivery should uh, set delivery deliver by car status when orders delivery method is car. Uh, okay. Uh, so as you can see, I've prepared a shipment service here, and uh, I passed a mock to order service uh, via constructor. And then uh, I would like to test then that when I call shipment service dot deliver with uh, order ID, for example, one, then I expect that that exactly uh, once order service dot get deliver method uh, will be called, and exactly once order service dot set delivery status uh, with uh, with the value delivered by car will be called. Okay, so let's try to run the test. Yeah, and we of course uh, got null pointer exception here. Let's try to investigate why. As you can see, uh, the delivery method uh, returned by order services get delivery method, get delivery method is always null. But I would like to test what happened if my get delivery method returns car. So I can achieve this effect just by returning the value uh, here. Okay, so let's check what happened if uh, after first call of our get delivery method, we return car. As you can see, our test passed, as we expect. Okay, so the last thing uh, which I would like to show you in, in the tutorial is uh, how to write the complete test to cover all of the cases. Let's try to run uh, our shipment test with, with coverages. And as you can see, I, all, uh, I have already covered only the first uh, condition. Uh, so let's try to rewrite the test uh, to cover both of the conditions. Okay, so I can achieve the effect by uh, creating, for example, where clause here. And I would like to introduce two parameters. The first one is uh, what happened if I return uh, order delivery method and what I expect. So for example, I'm going to introduce the first parameter here, like order delivery method. Here, let's introduce uh, expected delivery st status. Uh, yeah, order delivery method and expected delivery status. When I return car as order delivery method, I expect I expect to get uh, delivered by car. And when I return, for example, ship uh, as a delivery method, I expect to to get unsupported delivery method. Mm, so let's uh, uh, let's reformat the code. 
Okay, and the last thing, mm, I'm gonna change the name of the test um, in the way that delivery should set expected delivery status when order delivery method is I'm gonna parameterize uh, the name of the test so when delivery method is order delivery method okay so let's try to run the test yeah as you can see uh, two, two tests uh, two test variants uh, were uh, were run and let's run it with coverage and both of uh, our uh, conditions were covered uh, okay guys that's all what i prepared for today if you like the video please give me a thumb up and leave the comment what do you think about it if you don't want to miss any of my future videos please subscribe to my channel and as always thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video see ya